The James Webb Space Telescope is getting on the nerves of NASA now. It's been two freaking years since it launched in 2021 from Kourou, and since then, we have been listening to those strangest space stories one could ever imagine existing. Sometimes it's that shiny, sparkly, and extremely fascinating Carina Nebula, and other times it's Charlotte's Cosmic Web, Jumping Jupiter Jet Streams, or the Supernova Hat Trick. The discoveries are pretty endless. 2023 should be marked as the golden timeline for James Webb, since the number of discoveries this telescope has came across is totally remarkable and, of course, worth sharing. But everything apart, every other discovery of JWST is itself astonishing. But what this telescope has just come across is far beyond your imagination. Can you imagine galaxies as old as the universe? The whole scientific crew has been on the search to find such a thing that can help them predict the age of the universe and what this JWST did. It has just discovered that primordial galaxies the world was too crazy about. But is it this easy to discover something far away from human understanding? It took this telescope a pretty good time to come up with some things that they are sure can help find the secrets of the universe. However, mature galaxies seem to have filled the universe shortly after the Big Bang, and astronomers are puzzled. They aren't expected to be there. No one can even imagine how they have been there for this long. What's their age? Who put them in the universe? These are the most asked questions, and sadly, no one has even dared to find the answer till yet. Those galaxies are known to be as giant and massive as the Milky Way and full of mature red stars that seem to be dispersed in deep field images obtained by the James Webb Space Telescope during its early observation campaign, and they are giving astronomers a headache that can't vanish unless they conclude the discovery. But when these galaxies first appeared through Webb's very first data release, they seemed too tiny and appeared only as tiny, reddish dots to the powerful telescope. By analyzing the light emitted by these galaxies, astronomers were pretty sure that they were viewing them in our universe's infancy only 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. However, such enormous galaxies aren't very surprising, though. Scientists were always sure that outside the universe, there must be something like that, and it really is. Astronomers say that the first clusters of stars are likely to form shortly after the universe moved out of the so-called Dark Ages, the period when space was filled with hydrogen atoms for the first 400 million years. But is doing research this easy? The images released by the JWST appeared shockingly big, and the stars in them were too old. The new findings conflict with existing ideas of how the universe looked and evolved in its early years, and why it doesn't match the earlier observation taken by the less powerful Hubble Space Observatory. However, there's a professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Penn State said, we had specific expectations for the type of galaxies that live in the early universe. They are young and small, Previous studies of the early universe with Hubble and other instruments tend to find small, blue, baby galaxies at early times. Objects which have just recently formed out of the primordial cosmic soup and are themselves building their early stars and structures. However, the JWST latest discovered two galaxies that constitute the second and fourth most distant such objects ever found. They're not only far away, but incredibly ancient. Each one dates to just 330 million years after the Big Bang, though it's an approximately predicted value, but they might be way too aged than those 330 million years. It took 13 billion years for the light the Webb telescope caught from it to reach its lens at that rate. The light from these galaxies is ancient, about three times older than the Earth. Joel Leger, assistant professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Pennsylvania State University and co-author of a new study on the galaxies, said in a press release. It is only by their light that we can begin to understand the exotic physics that govern the galaxies near the cosmic dawn. This telescope has basically found the earliest known galaxy that was named as Jade's GSZ-130, 
known to be 30 million years older than those new, slightly younger galaxies. However, spotting them within the massive star clusters wasn't this easy. The astrophysicists had to focus the telescope on Pandora's cluster, or Abel 2744. According to NASA, this enormous array of galaxies contains as much mass as four trillion suns. The first part of the research was conducted in 2022 due to special distortions created by the telescope's location. Pandora's clusters have multiple galaxies around its surroundings that are known to create a natural gravitational effect called gravitational lensing. The object's combined mass creates gravitational effects that can warp space. Penn State team's statement also says that this focuses and magnifies light traveling nearby, which enlarges the area behind each cluster. In conclusion, the team culled a field of 60,000 light sources down to 700 for a follow-up study to find those ancient primordial galaxies that can help us predict the early discoveries of the universe. However, it's acknowledged that it's not really easy to find what you're exactly looking for from the space window. The JWST is beyond powerful, but still, it doesn't always give the exact output. It takes a good amount of research with plenty of effort to discover a galaxy, but despite the challenges, the astronomers got really lucky. They found two ancient galaxies, which they thought were amazing. One of these galaxies is quite tiny compared to our Milky Way. This small size makes sense because it formed in the early days of the universe when things were squished together during the Big Bang. The scientists are hell sure that these primordial galaxies will definitely let them know about their early makeup and formation. They didn't have many heavy elements like metals, and stars formed quickly. This supports the idea of the Big Bang theory, which says these early galaxies were like factories creating heavy elements. God knows if this is really true, but all the evidence JWST has found up, till yet wholeheartedly, supports the existence of primordial galaxies. Despite this, the James Webb Telescope also found that nearly all of the universe's earliest galaxies were filled with dazzling gas clouds that shine way brighter than twinkling stars. These galaxies lighten up every time and sometimes emerge as the powerhouse of space that keeps the spark alive. Scientists even say that some early galaxies have been seen glowing so brightly that they shouldn't exist. Such brightnesses are only found in massive galaxies with as many stars as the Milky Way. Yet these galaxies form in a fraction of the time it takes our galaxy to form. However, this statement seems to overlap physicists' understanding of galaxy formation and even the standard model of cosmology, which states that a few million years after the Big Bang, energy condensed into the form of matter from which the first stars slowly coalesced. Yet when the JWST came online, it saw far too many stars. Meanwhile, we can see that astronomers have now found a pretty convincing answer. Nearly 90% of the 12 billion year old galaxies are coated in bright gas that after being ignited by surrounding stars, prompts the gas to cool and form stars. The new research has even been accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal. An author at the Curtin University of Australia has also said, our paper proves that interactions with the neighboring galaxies are responsible for the unusual brightness of early galaxies. The explosion of star formation triggered by the interactions could also explain the more massive nature of early galaxies. Nevertheless, the discovery of these bright gas clouds utilized three of the telescope's instruments to gather infrared images of galaxies, followed by an analysis of their spectra. Scientists were examining the frequencies of light emitted by the galaxies. They stumbled upon extreme emission features, which indicates that the gas was capturing light from nearby stars and then releasing it. According to a passionate researcher, Gupta, gas cannot emit light on its own, but the young, massive stars emit just the right type of radiation to excite the gas. And the early galaxies have lots of young stars.
when comparing the emission spectrum of these early galaxies to those of more recent ones found in today's universe, approximately 1% displayed similar features. Those researchers were hell sure that with comparisons they could find the chemistry of earlier galaxies and their compositions. Thus Gupta added, the chemical elements that make everything tangible on Earth and the universe, except hydrogen and helium, originated in the cores of distant stars. So, it is critical to understand the conditions surrounding galaxies and stars in the early universe for us to better understand our world today. So with that, it's a wrap of our discussion. Make sure to comment below your opinion on primordial galaxies and how they form. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Happy watching.